Hi guys, this is Cy from Cyanide Software. So today I want to do, talk about a new feature that we have in our Proxy, and this is sort of a find instance feature. So let's just say you've merged in all these trees from something else, or you have all these trees in your scene that are instances, and you want to go ahead and proxy these. So we'll go down, create a new Proxy item, just bring it out into the scene. You can place this anywhere. It doesn't have to be at zero, zero or anything. We can just go ahead and place it anywhere. It'll, it's just a representation of a blank proxy at the moment. So what we want to do is we can set this to an internal or external file. So let's do an external on this and I'll go and select our trees. So right away, it's going to say um, we have, let's call this tree test one and we'll save that and right now it'll tell you that there's instances in the scene so we're gonna hit yes and it's gonna replace every instance in the scene with that tree uh, the other thing that we have and this is the internal so we'll go and set this to an internal file now we'll select this tree and it'll go around and search the same thing see how many instances there are Available, and then it'll pop up and say would you like to make all these instances now if I hit no it's like I said it's just gonna change that one tree if we hit yes it's gonna go change them all so this will sort of help you if uh, you already have old scenes sort of set up and you want to sort of go ahead and clean it up make it a little more streamlined make things into proxies it sort of helps a little easier than going making a proxy at zero 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 and then going to try and replace all the objects that you have in your scene already now the other quick little thing that we have is our color variation in Proxy. So we'll use our color shift. So if we turn this on and we sort of get some saturation, brightness, contrast, and we'll do the same with this one. So a little, not as much hue shift, but saturation, brightness, contrast, and we do a quick render you'll see that now we have a nice color variation out of our trees. So we have some, you know, actually let's just render this group out over here. And you'll see it sort of just gives more of a realistic look because your trees are, you know, they're not all the exact same color and it's just a nice, quick, easy fix uh, without having to go get rid of all your trees, start from scratch and sort of place all this stuff around. So cheers guys, um, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.